Welcome back to another Wildlife Outdoors adventure. Today, join us on an exhilarating journey deep in the heart of the stunning Washita Mountains. Follow along as we enjoy a weekend escape at the breathtaking Kostop Falls State Park. Nestled within this wilderness haven, the Washita Mountains stand tall, cradling the Kostop River in its pristine white water shoals. Our campsite is a gateway to a world where the melody of rushing water blends with the calls of wild creatures, setting the stage for an unforgettable experience. As we pitch our tents along the riverbanks, we're greeted by the symphony of Kostatot's Cascading Falls. So gear up and follow along as we embark on a weekend of camping, wildlife wonders, whitewater adventures, and the serene beauty of Kostatot Falls State Park. Let the wilderness embrace you and let the journey begin. What's happening, y'all? Uh, we just got here to Kostatot Falls at the Kostatot State Park Natural Area and uh, got our campsite set up. Mm -hmm. For the next few days, we're going to be out here. We're going to do a little bit of backpacking out here in the Washita Mountains. So uh, it's going to be a good time. Hopefully, I'll get enough content. We might even get some smallmouth fishing in. So come along for the adventure. So the only wood we could salvage without going deep in the woods here at night is some moss covered kind of moist wood so what i did is i did a log cabin style kindling at the bottom so i'm gonna get that lit and then above i have my teepee which is going to dry out that moss and then around hopefully the heat will dry out that and we'll be able to get a good fire going here in a little bit Well, <laughs> we're in the tent. It's uh, we sat by the fire for a little bit and got some pictures of of the the stars. And she's over here freezing. It's down in like what forty something right now, and uh, it feels amazing. But she's in her sleeping bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep like this. But we're gonna try to get some sleep. Wake up in the morning and start hitting the trails. Good morning. So the sun just came up not too long ago. We're doing a little uh, trip right here by the falls. I'm gonna walk around and look at the shoals for a bit before we start our, our full day hike. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I had no clue this water was this clear. As the sun graces the horizon, we rise from our campsite fueled by anticipation for the day ahead. After a hot cup of coffee and a peak refuel breakfast, we're ready to hit the trails. Today our journey leads us through the majestic Washita Mountains weaving through the rugged terrain and dense foliage. The air is filled with excitement and the promise of new discoveries. Well, I'll sweet talk Ruth into letting me fish for a little bit because there's some good shoals here. I only got to give her a massage tonight, so I think it's worth it. But I'm going to go try to get a line wet and hopefully I can get on to smallmouth. There is a story of the native smallmouth bass woven into every fabric of this pristine waterway. These resilient, bronze-hued warriors have called these waters home for generations. Originating in the Ozark Mountains, the smallmouth bass found sanctuary in the Kossatot's clear, swift currents. Over the years, they have adapted to the unique conditions, creating a sustainable and thriving population. Anglers have long been drawn to the challenge of landing these elusive fish, their spirited fights echoing the rugged beauty of the river's surroundings. As I cast my line into the Kostot's flow, I strive to become a part of this story legacy, connecting with the smallmouth bass and honoring untold tales etched into the river's bedrock. It's not just fishing, 
It's a journey into the living history of the Kossatot, where every catch is a nod to the resilience and majesty of the native smallmouth bass. Last night we had a little bit of issue getting a fire. Uh, a lot of the wood that we had lying around was pretty moist, had some moss on it. So uh, something that I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually gonna come to this little pine tree here and right where the branches meet the trunk of the tree, there's a concentration of pine oil. And the pine oil actually will, it, it, it helps your kindling stay lit. Uh, the oil will actually stay burning almost like a, like a Vaseline or a petroleum product, but it's uh, it's pretty natural so you can take right in the area where a branch meets the trunk and cut it off and that concentration of pine oil will help you with your fire and help your kindling stay lit and even light an area for uh with the bigger pieces of wood Well, we just got to the end of our hike. Got a nice view of the falls here. And uh, we just filled up our live straw water jugs and now we're gonna head back to camp. So, what, three miles from the end of the falls to the camp. So hopefully we'll be getting there before dark and we'll make us some dinner.
As the sun begins its descent over the rugged peaks of the Washita Mountains, a magical transformation unfolds. The crisp afternoon air carries whispers of the day's adventures as the landscape becomes a canvas for nature's encore. Hiking through these ancient mountains, I find solace in the golden hues that paint the surroundings. And as daylight wanes, the critters awaken, a subtle reminder that the wilderness thrives in the changing rhythms of time. Birds serenade the twilight and curious critters emerge, adding an extra layer of enchantment to the already captivating scenery. In the heart of the Washtas, every step is a dance with the wild, and every moment reveals a new chapter in the mountain's timeless story. Well, we are all packed up and ready to get on out of here. And uh, we're actually gonna go hit another state park on the way out of here uh, before we head home. But uh, the two nights in the Washita's is, is up and closed and done and finished. And I'll tell you, I'm ready for a hot shower. <laughs> it got cold last night, got down in like low 40s or something and it was not fun. But uh, I'm ready to head out and we'll catch y'all next time.